burger eating pro tip. Try your burger with Chick-fil-A sauce. Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm. Welcome back to the kitchen. In this video we're gonna do a, some smash burgers and we're going to use some bull burger and we are going to use some steer burger and just do a taste comparison, kind of like what we did with our um, steak taste off. So. Kind of hard to tell with the lighting in here, but the bull burger is really dark red. Steer burger is pretty similar, um, not quite as red. Um, so we're just going to do a taste comparison. We've made smash burgers with these plenty of times. So we'll show you how it's done. So all I'm going to do is just take, I don't know, maybe not quite a quarter pound of the burger and roll it into a ball. Simple as that. And I'm just going to simply sprinkle them with salt and pepper. And then they're ready for the griddle. So the, the key to a good smash burger, and this is taboo in some circles, is American cheese. So we got the griddle good and hot. We're just going to simply Put the burgers on, the balls on. These first ones are the bowl. And then we have a smasher. Trying to get them nice and thin. They cook fast, but you gotta work kinda fast. You usually know when they're ready to flip when you start seeing the juices come off the top. As soon as you flip them, where you put the cheese on. Kinds of farm animal noises tonight. We're just gonna let those cook for another few minutes. So it's cold outside, so the cheese didn't fully melt, so that's okay. Well, it's just been a couple minutes on each side. Bull and steer. Just rip into this bowl first. Well, look at you being all sophisticated. Well, I wouldn't call it sophisticated, just not Neanderthal. There is a distinct flavor difference. Hmm. Again, super good. Both of them. Both of them are juicy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you describe the difference, though. So. I think the bowl tastes sweet. I get no sweetness. No? I think I like the steer better. I don't know how you describe how they're different. They have the same texture. They're equally juicy, but the flavor is slightly different. 
It's not a gamey flavor at all with no. the bull. Both have way more of a natural beef flavor than anything you would buy at the store. Steer. You like the steer better, Maylee? You didn't know. You didn't know which was which. Now that I've been, go been going back and forth between the two, I can't tell the difference at all. Yeah, maybe just <laughs> that, that first bite. That one has like a different flavor. It's like better. How would you describe them, May? That one's gooder. That one's gooder. <laughs> you better hope your teachers don't see this. <laughs> no gooder is no word. Oh, they're both delicious. Love the smash burger. Yeah, I don't know how to describe the difference, but there is a difference. I like them both. But like I said, it's hard to, after you take a few bites of going back and forth to tell the difference, actually. They're both good. Just like that one's better. I don't know. They're both delicious. Yeah, here's a burger eating pro tip. Try your burger with Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Microwave your bun for a few seconds. Butter. You should put the butter on your buns and cook them. A little bit of pink to your burger. That's the way to eat it. Oh, you took mine. Too bad. All right, I was expecting more of a difference be, to be able to describe the difference, but after the first few bites, it was... I couldn't tell the difference between the two. I still can, but um, I don't know. They're both great burgers. And yeah. I think if you just gave me one, like if I didn't have something to compare it to, I'd struggle to tell you if it was a bull or a steer burger. Yeah, there'd be no way to, yeah. to know that it was a bull. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, excellent. So don't be afraid to eat your bulls when when you're done with them because yeah. they're and, delicious. And don't turn them all into burger because the steaks are still good, the roasts are still good. Yeah, the, only the thing, brisket was good. It was a little The brisket tougher, was good, but, but it was it was dry and not as fatty, but good. still worth eating. Still worth eating. Should we let the kids have any or? No. No. <laughs> I want one. How's the burger? They How many stars out of five? Five. Five star? How's the burger? Good. How many stars? Uh, ten. Ten stars? Ten out of five. Ten out of five? It's better than a Culver's burger, that's for sure. Better than a Culver's burger? Yes, that's why no. I give it a fifteen out of five. Fifteen out of five? Yeah. I haven't taken a big bite yet. Four. 20 out of 5. Okay, that's better. All right, well, thanks for watching this kitchen video. If you haven't, if you've never had a smash burger, you don't need a Blackstone grill like we have. Hot cast iron pan will work. Just roll it into the ball, put it, put it on your pan, smash it down with a spatula, let it cook for a few minutes, get a little crust on each side, and uh, throw some American cheese on it. Can't go wrong. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See, See you in the next thank one. Thank you.